After you share Drive files or folders, you can work on them with teammates or even people outside your company. In this video, we're going to learn about sharing files and set access level and visibility to Google Drive files on the web. Select the file or folder you want to share. I right clicked on this folder to show this menu or you can click the share button at the top. In the share with others box, enter the email address or Google group you want to share with. Choose what kind of access you want to grant this user or group. I have options to organize, add and edit or can view only. Here's a place where you can add a note about that file or folder that you're sending them. If you want to control how visible your files are to other people, such as keeping them completely private or allowing anyone on the web to see them, click Advanced. Click Change and choose an option. The options available will depend on your admin settings for your organization. In the case of my newsletters folders, if it was an internal staff newsletters folder, I could just say the SAS Tech servers link. Or in this case, I want to publish this on our public website. So I'll say on anyone with the link. Or I could choose on public on the web. Access will allow the requirements for sign-in. We could allow them to organize an ad, but in this case, we wouldn't want to do that with our public newsletters. We would set can view only. Click save and we're back to our share settings. If you also want a copy of the message that you're sending in this share, click the send a copy to myself checkmark box. Click send when you're ready. Even after you've sent the message, you can change the permission settings for the user again. Just click the pencil and you can even set an expiration date for the share access. You could allow access for 30 days or cancel the expiration altogether. When you're finished with your share settings, just click done. Notice for this folder, we have anyone who has the link can view the folder. Bailey is the owner and Lee can edit files within the folder. Here's what the email looks like after it's been shared through Google Drive. And the user can click here on newsletters and open the drive folder. To stop sharing a file or folder that you own, just right click on it and choose share. And from advanced, next to the person you want to stop sharing the file or folder with, click remove and save changes. In the next video, we'll view our drive activity, but for now, click done. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at the YouTube channel.